let's talk about the last kumbaya moment that the party had um, that related to you. And that was in 2005 when you stepped away from the primary and uh, Freddie Ferrer then, right. he was essentially your choice uh, for mayor. You decided to do it because you wanted a unified Democratic Party and a unified city. That was your last kumbaya moment? That was you wearing a sweater Correct. as it were? Um, do you feel differently now? Would you make different choices? Slight, no. I w no, I did absolutely the right thing in 2005. Freddie Ferrer said I did the right thing. Democrats around the city said I did the right thing. Um, I might have won that primary. I might have won that runoff, but I realized well, he, he, I, he emerged as the winner with forty percent directly after. So fair enough. Fair enough. Well, it wasn't fair he, enough. I mean, were there? He, but didn't, no, this is. I mean, I, you did concede, but I'm saying he did emerge as the winner. We he never, did. we never contested any of the. Precisely. We never contested any of the recounts or anything else. Who knows how it would have turned out? It doesn't matter. That's history. But what is important is this. It was a different circumstance. We were about to go into a general election against a billionaire who subsequently went on to spend $250 million to get elected and re-elected, and that's just the money we know about. Mm -hmm. So that was a fairly unique situation. And by the way, I also was pretty clear to me I would have another chance and that I would never do anything to divide this city. And I was fearful that we would have a divisive primary that I wanted no part of. There were more important things than my own ambition. There always are. But that does not mean, and by the way, you make decisions all the time to try to do things for the greater good, not just my ambition. So that's not, a, that's not an example of anything, but I'll tell you what 2005 No, I simply about. mentioned it as a Kumbaya moment in which you would No, but, it was, but, it, but it, the, the 2005 campaign represented something else. Sure. One, at this point in 2005, I was at 11% when mm -hmm. I made the mm -hmm. Two, um, in 2005, I tried the same idea. I didn't have no institutional support, but precious little, and I did pretty darn well. Came out of nowhere, got you know thirty percent or whatever, or whatever it was. So the things I'm talking about today, and the things I talked about then, some of them, uh, many of them, have turned out to be prophetically right, and are things that still need to be fought for today. So in that twelve-year period, we've had Speaker Quinn, you've had Bill Thompson, you've had John Liu, you've had Bill De Blasio, and things have gotten worse, not better. So frankly, part of my question to citizens is if you like. The way things are going, you've got plenty of choices, but if you want a departure, and if you want someone who's going to do things differently, you really only have one. Do you see a, a similar Kumbaya moment and a different unique moment later in the campaign for you? Do you see yourself looking I at... I do. I, I see my three opponents rallying, my four opponents rallying around me and endorsing me as I run against the Republican. I think we'll all come together. 